The Deep Sea Diversity Expedition has returned from conducting science to support the multiple nations co-creating and co-governing marine conservation areas off of the Pacific coast of Canada. We explored new and long-term monitoring habitats off of Vancouver Island and Haida Gwaii. Our team was the first to lay eyes on SALP 5494 Seamount near Haida Gwaii, the closest to shore seamount and the only one in a newly proposed conservation area. We returned to Skong Kinglis Bowie Marine Protected Area to resurvey long-term monitoring sites and remarkably were able to visually detect some ecological changes over the last four years. Haida scientist Skil Jada led the dive to the ecologically and culturally significant peak of the Skong Kinglis Bowie Seamount, known to have been a Haida island when sea levels were lower. The dive to the summit was awe-inspiring. The shallow sunlit cliffs and peaks gave rise to towers of thousands of rockfish, visible in both the submersible camera and the scientific echo sounder. A diverse taxonomic collection of 100 specimens from a dozen phyla could possibly offer new species to science. A priority of the mission was to widely communicate the science to a local and global audience. Events were jointly hosted by communities, partners, and the At Sea Science team, reaching the general public, scientists, and over 40 classrooms around the world. The live streaming of the deep sea footage and chats had a worldwide reach and allowed us to interact and connect with viewers and gain real-time input from shore-based collaborators. Using the ship's echo sounder, we profiled and confirmed eight seamounts, four of which are newly discovered. The ship was equipped with a multi-beam echo sounder, which allowed us to gain high-resolution seafloor data, including that of Union Seamount, the second tallest seamount in Canada, which had been previously unmapped. A broad group of determined collaborators came together to equip our vessel with a one-of-a-kind mounting system for the multi-beam to enable our ambitious project to map the deep. We added to the global array of Argo floats that autonomously measure chemical and physical properties of the water column for five years after deployment. Continuation of oceanographic sampling in the offshore area added important information on the chemical and biological properties of the water column in seldomly visited areas. We explored the seafloor of future conservation areas for chemosynthetic ecosystems, home to endemic animals, including being the first to return to the West Valley hydrothermal vents 36 years after they were discovered. This science was a United Nations Ocean Decade endorsed activity and will contribute to our global understanding of the deep through the Challenger 150 and Seabed 2030 initiatives.